is going on, YouTube? It is your man, Mr. Dominic Cruz, featuring ABC, NBC, CBS, Yahoo, and Fox, coming at you with another video. Yes, another one. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Damn it. <laughs> and notification bell every time I make a video. You'll be the first one to know. And I hope you guys are trying for your purpose and mission in life. So I got something from a subscriber, and I'm going to read it to you. We're going to get to the bottom of this whole thing because it's important. All right, so... Three days, hey, I just want to say three days out of the breakup now, I woke up last night with a panic attack. First time for that. Uh, for some con for some bad context, the other day my girlfriend a year broke it off with me based on politics. Ooh, not here to talk about politics. It's been an exhausting week. Tell me about it. We're about to be 30. In the year, in that year, things were great. We didn't even fight either. Last week was our first fight. I try to reach out and talk it over, but even when the dust settled, there was no more thinking about us. How do you move on when you think there is nothing more with the other person? Nothing wrong with the other person. Clearly for her and her beliefs, it has to be over. I can't change that. I have to respect it. In my prior relationships, there were an accumulation of things or loss of interest. This is not the case for me. Every moment was laugh and ha laughs and happiness. Let me pause right there. That may be that may be on the other side, but this is why I always tell people it takes about three. I've heard it from other people, and this is why now I'm telling people, you know, it takes three to six months, typically six months, to really get to know someone and really get to make a decision to be in a relationship with them. It really does take that long. This is why you take your sweet ass time. Okay, we had planned our first trip together in December for the holidays. Kind of sucks being single again. During the holidays. Hey, I'm going to just say this. It ain't that bad when you can save money. As I get older, I do want to find someone and settle down. This sounds crazy, but even though it's been a year, I thought she was it. It always felt right. It, it, it's always going to feel right when you, you're bonded with someone. It's great. But, you know, and someone can give you that positive emotions all the time. Um, it feels great, and when it all ends, it just our, our world just shatters. But at the end of the day, just you just got to keep fighting. But let me just finish reading this whole thing before I get into my, what I got to say. I took today off from work. I needed a day of just sitting in and doing nothing. Tomorrow, I'm forcing myself up and out again. But for the but who had a uh, one sided breakup and didn't see if you had and didn't have a one sided if you had a one sided damn I can't read if you had a one sided breakup and didn't see it, uh, the end coming how did you move on what was the coping mechanisms that you use cuz this one hurts and I hope I don't think about her for too long okay so here's the thing here's the thing here's the thing you may have not thought there was anything wrong right but you there's more than just, I mean, there's got to be more than just laughs and happiness. I mean, there's things that you have to have to ignore and just brush it off. So, but moving on is, and in, in, in after feeling so good about someone, so good about a relationship that you were in, and then all of a sudden, the world just shattered on you, and it's just broken pieces, millions of broken pieces. But moving on, it, it really does take a process, all right? So how you can do it. It really, it, you have to understand it does take day by day. Uh, and, and, and the thing is, I do have a, and if you want to get over someone and you want to start that process fast, you know, I do have a, an accelerator strategy in the description box that you can get uh, to, to help you start moving forward. Uh, it will get your emotions out and you'll get over your ex a lot faster. But the coping mechanism, and, and that's actually another thing that I wanted to uh, get out and the coping mechanism is really getting all your emotions out. Uh, not only get all your emotions out, but just really, you know, don't spend too much time why it didn't work out. Spend out how you can become better, how you can be better. I understand that you said you were thirty. You're about to be thirty years old, and you know what? It's a better time. It it, it is it is being in your thirties is great, um, and congratulations. <laughs> But the coping mechanism that you really want to use is really just let it all out. And I, you can get that accelerated strategy in the description box. Let it all out. And um, basically, it paints out how long you should do it, when you should do it, 
all of that. When you can let it all out, when you can let all your emotions out and you spend you spend time doing it every single day, you speed up the process of getting over someone so much faster than it's it's crazy good. Um, because as the days go by and you spend, you know, coping, getting over it, you know, letting your emotions out, you get healed faster. You have a deeper understanding of that relationship. Um and understand that it hurts and you know when something ends so abruptly it may it, you may have done nothing wrong I, I actually i'll say this the only thing that you should have done is that you should have taken the sweet time to actually make this girl your to, to actually you know get to know this person on a deeper level and before committing to them in a, uh, in a relationship because a lot of us get into relationships without getting to really know our partner and if we can't really know who our partner if we really don't take that time to get to know our partner there's there's gonna be so many surprises <laughs> and you won't be able to handle it <laughs> um you know so understand that you know you can use that accelerator strategy to move on but it's going to take some time but you know to move on this is a great time especially but you said you're about to hit your 30s you use this time to get to know yourself you use this time to go out use this time to meet people you use this time to have fun with your life do the things that you didn't think of doing because when you actually are hurt hurting when you're hurting from uh, the breakup and all that, you start to get numb to a lot of different things. I ain't gonna lie, I was one of those people to where I didn't I, like all the things I used to overthink about or used to, you know, I used to be like so careful about certain things, and then all of a sudden I just stopped caring so much about this and that X Y Z yada 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 because I just didn't care. I didn't, I just wanted to be happy. I wanted to find a way to be happy. I wanted to find a way to, you know, move forward. I wanted to find a way to just live my life, even though I'm gonna feel the pain in my chest for a while. I just found a way to keep moving forward. So. The fact that you guys broke up over politics and I talked about that whole thing that sucks, but. At the end of the day, I mean, it is what it is. I mean, you, you, there's nothing else that uh, would have prevented it. I mean, if you were one side and she was another side, I mean, some people just really base their decisions on who they want to date um, off of politics, unfortunately. Uh, so, understand, it, it, it's, and here's the thing, here's the thing. Before you get into a relationship, always make sure the respect is mutual. Everybody thinks that they go into a relationship. Yeah, I res I, I, she respects me. I respect it too, right? You don't even know that. You don't. You, I don't even think. Look, <laughs> it's just funny to me because nobody understands respect. Um, when you are interested in a girl. And you want to date her. You want your, her to be your girlfriend. I would say go for the respect before you make her your girlfriend. Because then she'll value you. She'll res Not only she'll respect you, but she won't make, she'll make sure that your time doesn't get wasted. And understand that women use us for our time. So don't. And that's our resource. We there's our time, and our energy, and it's our love, and it, I mean it's just so many things. Time we don't get back. So understand that, all right. So pretty much, if you're someone that's just trying to get over their ex, you can get my book, Ten Simple Tips, uh, to get over your ex, out on Amazon.com right now. And if you like my videos, you can contribute. You can donate using PayPal or Venmo. That's also in the description box. And if you're someone that likes to get one-on-one -on -one coaching, I. Can I have that as well. You can go into the calendar link or you can visit www.dominantcruise.com. And if you find this information valuable, I want you to drop a like, drop a comment, drop a share. And of course, it is your man's Mr. Dominic Cruz coming at you with another video. Yes, another one, another one, another one. Until next time, ladies and gentlemen, take it easy. <laughs>